what's going on guys so i recently had an issue with my trim um it just would not go up randomly as hell um spent about a day or two trying to figure out what the heck is going on with this thing originally i thought it was the relays that sit right back here uh that's a 1993 uh Evinrude, uh 115 by the way um but anyway so there's there's uh two relays right here i don't feel like opening this back up again i'm sure you can figure it out um i had a problem with that before and i just like replacing the relays fixed it immediately um this case got to the boat ramp that did not work i always keep a spare relay in the boat just for that purpose uh replace the relays and i still have nothing you know that's my up trip down you can hear it engaging but up, uh, I got absolutely nothing. So I thought it originally was a switch. So I tried to replace these, um, nothing happened. You can always, these two wires right here, if you swap these around, um, you can test the up or down, right? So whenever I switch these, it's the unit would still not go up. So I, of course I thought it was the motor, which sits uh, right there. Okay, so, you know, it's probably not replacing that. Ordered a new one. Of course it wouldn't be until Sunday. So I figured, man, might as well just go ahead and troubleshoot some of my electrical cracks. It didn't make any sense because even though I replaced these two wires and swap, swapped them around for up and down, uh, this switch would work now, but it wouldn't trim up. And of course, my handle uh, did absolutely nothing at all. So it was just, there's no up. It will go down, but the motor won't actually go down. So after troubleshooting all this stuff, um, I didn't realize this, but there's an actual switch. If you follow this wire right here, that goes into your, this goes to your motor this goes to a switch that is your tilt and trim switch it sits right back in here i can't really show it to you um let me see if i can do it a little bit better you see that wire goes right there it goes up underneath here that is the the up and down well this stop basically for the trim up and this this ring right there is how you set the positioning of it so whenever that button hits it as you can see mine is all messed up and broken so uh, that's definitely my problem uh, the easiest way to troubleshoot this that I found if you follow this wires back all the way through this uh, snake hose whatever the heck you want to call it um, it comes up right here up here and then these two wires it goes to the switch itself so you can see i disconnected them um one thing you can do is put a voltmeter inside of these two and just see if you have any power i did and i had 12.6 volts i believe in these two wires so i know it's not coming from here the problem is going to be past this point right so the switch itself another easy way if you're stuck on the water and you're having issues right and you can't trim up or trim down whatever the case may be um simply connect sorry give me one second kind of hard to do this with just one hand anyhow so you can see i connected these two wires together that go into this uh junction box whatever you want to call it right and these two are still unplugged this goes back to your sensor like i said um that will easily get you repaired and at least troubleshoot that switch so now you can see i got trim up right just to check it on my uh console as well down works fine up works fine so like i said guys uh 1993 evan rude uh two stroke 115 horsepower i'm pretty sure this is pretty much the same for all all the sizes out there but this will be the easiest way for you guys to troubleshoot to see what exactly is going on with the trim of course at, obviously after you check your relays that'll be your first spot you want to go to is go straight to your relays make sure that those are good you can always swap them around they're universal um, if you don't have a spare one, just to see if you can get up or down. But if that doesn't work, just like I said, these two wires back here that go to your uh, trim switch, which are these two right here, just complete that circuit. It will bypass this switch and obviously get that switch replaced at some point. Um, you don't want to just drive around, you know, boat around, whatever, without that switch. I'm sure it has some sort of importance or if you just, you know, be careful with it. I'm sure you can probably uh, figure out when to stop trimming once you know your motor is out of the water it's not that complicated but um yeah best of luck to you guys if you have any questions drop a comment